Hello everybody, it's Theresa here. Um, I'm coming back to cut my um, bloke soap. Um, this soap was scented with lemon verbena. Uh, it was colored with blues and black and white. Um, the base here was supposed to be a um, a light blue but it did not quite work out that way. Um, I was actually going to act, do a drop swirl on this soap, but the um, combination of, well, I'm guessing it's the combination of the beer that I used in the, um, in the, in my last solution, and the lemon verbena. Um, I think those two things caused it to accelerate so I wasn't able to do the swirl that I wanted so we ended up with a saline swirl which is a spoon swirl. Uh, the the uh, making video will be attached to this video so uh, you will be able to see me make this soap. It does need to be cleaned up um, once I get it cut there are the sides are built up a little bit but I have a um, planer beveler that is set to be delivered um, this week according to the seller so um, that will help me do that. I'm going to move this over just a bit. We're going to try to cut off this end piece. I tried this a little different. I have a little small like um, toaster oven type thing um, that I have down here in the basement that I use for my poly clay so I decided to try to oven process this in this soap in that um, I don't think it did very well because this so this soap is pretty soft so um, depending on this first cut we may or may not be uh, cutting this soap today um, if it seems to be entirely too soft still on the inside then I will pause and leave it be and bring you back to cut the rest later. So let's give it a little cut and see what we get. Um, I'm just cutting off a little bit of the end there. I do expect there to be some air bubbles in this soap simply because um, the every... Oops. Well... <laughs> Let's try a little bigger piece, shall we? Dog's coming down to meet us. Um, but I do expect there to be some air bubbles in this soap simply because they're, um, everything sped up on me. Okay, it's going to, I think it looks like it's going to cut pretty nicely. Um, and I don't know what you can see there, but, um, the swirls didn't go as deep as I had hoped, but it did turn out really great, and it's cutting fine. Uh, so, I'm probably going to go ahead with the cut. We'll play it by ear. If it, if it gets a little wonky, then we will definitely pause. Um, the soap is still very soft, so definitely that oven did not oven process it. Um, I, I might need to let it get a little hotter or <clears throat> I may need to actually heat the oven to a little higher and uh, uh, temperature and um, leave it on for a few minutes where on my big oven upstairs I just heat it or I turn on the oven to 150 degrees and almost immediately turn it off so that it doesn't overheat and this side is much better than the other side swirl got a lot deeper and I am in love with the soap the lemon verbena smell doesn't come through a lot actually I can smell some of the beer and I'm pretty sure that's going to um, that's going to go away. It's kind of like um, if you've ever made a goat's milk soap. Um, in my 
experience. Goat's milk soaps. Um, the, you can actually smell the goat's milk for a while after you make the soap. And then eventually it'll go away. My dog can't decide whether she wants to lay in here or in the den. So she's wandering around if you hear tip, 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 tip. But I do expect that beer smell to go away. I hope that the lemon verbena comes through um, more. But if not, it won't be the end of the world because, uh, well, this is for my husband. Um, well, it's a guy soap. My husband and brothers will use it. I don't know if you can see that. But, so it doesn't have to be all that strongly scented. And I'm sure... They will be thrilled if the beer soap or the beer smell actually stayed. Although I'm not sure that, that if it did, it would be a good soap to use before you went out anywhere. <laughs> Imagine getting pulled over and smelling like beer. That would not end well. The soap is still really soft, so. But I am pleased that even being soft, I was able to unmold it. Uh, <laughs> my dog is in there running around. I was able to unmold it um, relatively successfully. Um, there you go. I don't know if you can see that. I will attach pictures. I'm so excited. I keep thinking to myself with every slice that only a few more weeks and my big soap cutter will be here. Um, I told everyone in the making video of this, but just in case you don't watch that part. Uh, <laughs> my husband surprised me yesterday. Well, I think he, I don't think he ordered it yesterday. I think he ordered it a few days ago. I really don't know what day he ordered it, to be honest with you. But uh, my husband surprised me last night by telling me via email, <laughs> sitting right next to me, sent me an email, that he ordered me a uh, soap cutter from Bud Hefner on Etsy. He actually has a YouTube channel here, too, uh, showcasing some of his soap cutters. But... Ever since I started watching soaps and seeing soap cutters, I've heard a lot about the bud cutters. And, um, well, I want one. <laughs> and my husband's been, uh, I've been bugging him. I'm like, honey, I need a soap cutter. And then I got the cheese cutter, and I thought it was going to do really well. But the other day, I had a soap that was a little bit harder than normal. And it just... Um, would not cut through so uh, I didn't even make or, or attach a cutting video of that I just attached um, the end of the cutting video to the making video because it just simply didn't it didn't work the soap cutter would uh, this cheese cutter would not cut that soap so um, yeah so when I told my husband I was like oh the cheese cutter is not working. He apparently started watching for Bud to reopen his Etsy shop. At, or Etsy. I call it Estes. I don't know why. I know that's not what it's called. But that's what I call it. Yeah, it's so pretty. I hope you can see it. But he, he started watching and he ordered me one. And I was so thrilled. It, it won't be here for four to six weeks, um, which is to be expected considering that Bud actually uh, had to close his shop um, after the holidays. From my understanding, from what the I heard in the soaping community, uh, it was um, he had to close it in order to catch up on orders, uh, but I don't know if that's accurate or not <clears throat> but either way his shop was closed for a while so he's a very popular man <laughs> I posted on one of the 
Facebook group, Soapy, the Soaping 101 Facebook group, that my husband had sneakily ordered me a bud cutter. And someone said, um, what's a bud cutter and do I need one? Uh, my answer to you is a bud cutter is apparently the most awesome cutter you can get. And yes, you'll probably need one <laughs> if you're going to make soap. I mean, there are plenty of people that don't have fancy cutters and, and, and make soap every day. So, obviously, you don't need it. But, yeah. You need it. <laughs> well, I need it. I'm going to go ahead and take a little... This, I mean, this is a, a relatively big piece here. But, uh, I'm not going to do it. I was going to cut the end piece off, but I'm not going to do it. So, so no there need. you have it. This soap is scented with um, uh, lemon verbena from Coastal Scents. Um, this it this batter did accelerate. It wasn't soap on the stick, but it did accelerate. And but I can't say that it was um, caused by the fragrance oil um, because I did use beer as my water in this uh, this batter. Or in this soap, so and beer, alcohol of any sort tends to accelerate so, trace. Um, as far as smell goes, I really do not pick up on the lemon verbena at all. Um, I used the same amount that I normally use in my recipes. I use um, one ounce per two pounds of of, of soap. I think this is a like, close to two and a half pounds I think and I know usage rates are usually much higher than that but I'm comfortable some of my soaps even with that uh, with one ounce I think are a little too strongly scented uh, obviously this one could have used a little more I think maybe the lemon verbena may uh, come out a little more after the because I can still smell the the beer excuse that that's my husband texting me so, but I can still smell the beer in here, so I think the lemon verbena may shine through a little more after that uh, beer scent goes away. So anyway, thank you for watching. Happy soaping. Bye-bye.